Hey, Matt here. I wanted to talk about trackbacks and how trackbacks work. So trackbacks aren't a regular blog comment, however they are still a link on a page. Currently, Scrapebox supports trackbacks for WordPress only. And so let's look at what a trackback looks like. Um, on the actual web page, this is kind of what a trackback will look like. So you have your leave your comment page, and you'll have something like this where you can leave a comment or a trackback. Um, the trackback is really a notification from, generally speaking, would be a notification from another site. Um, and so if you have site A here, and then site B over here links to site A and references it, it will show that link. And in return, it will also show us a link back to site B. What Scrapebox does is it submits a trackback just like site B over here linked to site A, but it just submits it. So you don't have to have site B linking to site A, and then site A will turn around over here and just link to site B. So there's three files in Scrapebox that you're going to have to work with, one of which is the list of websites like this that you're going to leave a trackback on. Now, you can use your existing um, list that you have harvested from just general harvesting and commenting for Scrapebox. Obviously, success rate will be a little bit less because you might harvest from various platforms and Scrapebox only supports WordPress for trackbacks. Also, not every site that has comments enabled has trackbacks enabled, and some sites that may have trackbacks, in it, trackbacks enabled may not have comments enabled. So you can also do separate um, scraping runs for trackbacks, or you can just go ahead and try it out on your list you've already done. So let's go pull up Scrapebox here. And I just popped in a couple of words over here, car and test, pretty basic. I'm going to choose WordPress because it, you know, works off the WordPress platform. And then what we saw there, um, right here, you can leave a response or a trackback. I just went ahead and put that right here as a footprint. You can look at various pages, of course, and see how they word this and then use that as your footprint. So here, let's just pull in, let's just pull in like 100 um, real quick from each of those two uh, keyword terms and then so now I have um, 97 here in my list because I had it auto remove some domains and then um, so let's go through and use these like we were going to comment obviously down here we have to choose trackbacks um, you would want to probably select your proxies over here your connections are controlled under settings adjust maximum connections and send track trackbacks up here going to run it down a little bit just for testing you can play with that there uh, there's no timeout setting for trackbacks so you don't have to worry about that it's taken care of for you so the trackbacks here you can see it grayed out the names and email section because you don't need those when you submit a trackback what you do need is your blogs which is going to be like your website so that you know it knows where to link your excerpts and those would be what would be kind of like the actual comment on the page uh, generally, when a trackback is submitted, um, like if you reference a website and it's in the middle of a paragraph and you link to that paragraph, it's going to take a little bit of the text on either side of your link, and that's going to be like the EPS excerpt that that page would use when it's linking to you. The best way to figure out uh, what to make the ex excerpts look like would be to go through and find pages that have trackbacks and read the excerpts and you can kind of get an idea of how a a trackback is going to be formed and how it's going to look right because you know these go to moderation as well so if a moderator sees a trackback that's messed up and clearly is not a trackback they're just going to deny it so it's important to take some time and go through Google and actually look for WordPress pages that already have trackbacks on them. A lot of this would be here, so like where it says you can leave a response or a trackback, you could go through these pages and uh, there's a chance that they could have trackbacks on them. So take a little time, go through it. As far as the your blogs file, these are templates for these are included with Scrapebox. So let's just open up our Scrapebox directory here. If I go into my actual Scrapebox folder, I have this folder called trackbacks. If I go in here, 
you'll see the we're looking for the your blogs file down here so this is the your blogs file pretty straightforward let's have a look at that real quick what that looks like is this you put your title up here so say we were gonna do you know the title of your website so this is my website about blue widgets so that's say that's your thing I don't even know how to spell widgets um, and then this is your website and it's just you know blue widgets are cool and then down here whatever so you, you have to include not only in a comment you just have to include your website but in a, in a trackback you also have to include the title of your website you'd, so you would put the title of your website here um, and then you'd put your actual website here and then you leave a space and then you do it again and then leave a space and do it again as long as many as you like so we'll just save that there sure and we'll load up the your blogs file the ex excerpts file same thing load it up here track back excerpts we can have a look at that as well it looks like title and then this is my excerpt so the the excerpt title and then the actual excerpt and then the you know another title and another excerpt you can use spin text in it and that sort of thing so we don't really need to change these but you could put whatever and so we're gonna load up those and then we can just go right here and then transfer these these from up here and just transfer them right down to here or you could of course open up and load a um, blog list file whatever so let's go over here for a minute though and look the actual how it looks on a page is gonna look like this so this is gonna be your blog title and that also functions as your anchor so back over here under the your blogs file right here where it says this is my website about blue widgets that's right here that's gonna be the anchor for your link so you want that to be appropriate you may not necessarily want to use your entire entire title of your website or you can just forget about the title and just use whatever anchor you want to use and then your website so that's in the your blogs file and that looks like this right here so it generates the link for that anchor and then the anchor out of that and then down here the title of the excerpt itself as well as the excerpt obviously comes from the trackback excerpt file and that would be the title and then the actual excerpt and so um, you can see that as you go through there and then let's go over here and let's just run it through and uh, see what happens so I've got my proxy set up I set up my connections I loaded my three files so let's hit start trackbacks you can see over here um, like we discussed earlier not all pages have trackbacks enabled and so you know, quickly as it ran through 97 there 51 were successful and then 46 failed of course those 51 likely went to moderation so we'll have to wait for moderators to approve those um, and then the 46 that failed um, they may have failed for various reasons trackbacks could have been closed since the last time Google visited the page which would have still returned this in our search or whatever and so that's pretty much it that's how you do trackbacks you just load up your three files format them correctly and then just load your settings here in Scrapebox and hit start trackbacks and wait for it to finish.